A North Carolina lawmaker wants to make changes to the state's exotic animal laws. Yeah, the senator representing the Triangle area plans to introduce legislation within the next week. Of course, of course all of this comes after that venomous zebra cobra was on the loose last week. CBS 17's Judith Rotana is live with the changes that he would like to see. Judith. City of Raleigh are both working on potentially updating their own exotic animal laws. Now, the state has a confusing patchwork of rules because cities don't have to abide by the rules set by their counties. It's one of the reasons Senator Wiley Nichols says we need changes here at the state level. This was was just absolutely, you know, horrifying, incredibly scary. Senator Wiley Nickel didn't realize just how lax North Carolina's exotic animal laws are until this snake got loose in his district. We shouldn't have uh, somebody with 70 dangerous venomous snakes in their basement. Clearly, you know, our laws failed our state. The state's regulation only lays out how to house a dangerous animal. Senator Nickel wants to change that, but admits he's new to the issue. It's clear, though, is, is our laws do not go far enough. Um, we need to have better protections in place for folks. And how we get there, you know, we're still trying to figure out. There are no specifics yet for what the proposed law may restrict or ban. Looking at other states and seeing what they do, and, and we're really far behind. One of the states he's looking at is Florida. I took a look at their reptile laws. This spring, they banned 16 types of high-risk snakes. Venomous snake owners need a license. Rules mandate an escape-proof enclosure in an escape-proof room, along with a state inspection. Part of this process is looking at the whole picture for, for exotic pets and making sure that, you know, our, our laws are, are keeping up with the times. Florida's public record law allows you to see who in your neighborhood owns what. Disclosure kind of stuff is is always important. I would want to know. Senator Nickel hoping new laws can level the playing field for cities and counties. I want to make sure that everybody knows if you come to North Carolina, you know, you're going to be safe. Now, I again reached out to Raleigh Police today to ask for an update on the Zebra Cobra investigation. I wanted to know if that owner was going to be facing any fines or charges and where the rest of his venomous snakes are. And so far, they are still not answering our questions. We'll keep you updated with how this legislation moves here in the Capitol. We're now live in Raleigh, Judith Rathana, CBS 17 News. A lot of people want some answers about this one for sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Judith, thank you.